Hello everyone! Today we are going to talk about Billy Graham's Top 5 Principles of Priorities in Short Life. Principle 5. What is your life? Determine the remaining time. That your life is steam appearing for a while and then disappearing. The kid showed me how to convert a continuous stream of time into a set of bounded lengths. You can only spend 52 couples of weekends with you to a year old. The magic of Christmas less for children from 3 to 10 years old. This means that you will see your child in this mood no more than 8 times. It is difficult to say whether there is a lot or not to know the last continuously. For example, time but we all understand that 7 is not a very large number. For example, you have 8 nuts or 8 books, it seemed like yesterday I was at school. But today I can hardly move, say Bill. Each of us got the same amount of time during the day 1440 minutes a day 168 hours of the week principle 4 now is the right time work hard in the classroom grab the books you need to read right now does your family need you so spend more time with her now write the message you think to write now the money you want to donate donate now take the time to study now it seems that every time the clock ticks they say now now, if you hear his voice, there will be no tomorrow, not for you, not for me, because time is a warning. Principle 3. Time is a running out of all of us. Time is too short for indecision and hesitation. Don't stop. Fool say, there is still a lot of time. Every morning we have 86,400 seconds to invest them. And every day a bank named time opens a new account for each person. It does not not leave a balance on the balance sheet, does not allow you to take out a loan, and if you do not the days given to you, the losses are only yours. Live gradually, use your every moment, don't waste your life, have time to try everything. Many people understand by this phrase some incident things, and I mean when you say try everything, try to become more successful, try to set a record, try to transfer your experience to other people, try to achieve your goal. Life is the moment and how it feels it's up to you to decide principle 2 life is not for nonsense when i ask myself why in my life is too short when what pops up in my head fall all sorts of nonsense however there is a something that separates the bullshit from the rest it's fake nature it is a fast food among the food that experience gives us ask yourself if you are wasting time on nonsense you already know the answer unnecessary meetings point arguments, bureaucracy, discussion of other people's mistakes, traffic jams are idiotic but not usual activities. There have always been and will be people who could return work and go to places where there are few opportunities. But life seems more natural. You can do the same, but on a smaller scale you don't have to move somewhere. The amount of time you have to spend on useless things varies depending on the employer. Most large and some small organizations I immersed in such work head over heels. But if you deliberately establish your authority and getting rid of useless activities is a new value system about money or prestige, you may be able to find a company where you spend less time on nonsense. Principle 1. Ability to distinguish important. It is especially difficult for young people due to the fact that they find themselves in many artificial situations that change their ideas about about what is so important. At school, the most important thing for a student is what his peers think of him. But ask any adult what was his biggest mistake in his youth, and he will most likely answer that he was too concerned about the opinions of others. One way to tell something important from everything else is to ask yourself if it will be just as important in a few years. The things that really matter are sometimes difficult to call important. Drinking coffee with friends is what matters. You will never say that it was a waste of time. Young children help you spend time on important things themselves. They grab your sleep, forcing you to distract from their smartphone and ask, will you play with me? Life is short and most likely understanding this will take you by surprise. You take some things for granted and they go away or end. You think that you will always have time to write a book. 
school, climb a mountain or do something else. And then you realize that the draw is already closed. I think that was a measure of hell. And you feel really think about your meaning in life. Please pay attention to this. See you later. Bye-bye.